All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick look at linear and nonlinear equations. Uh, just a quick review, linear involves the word line. Actually, they both involve the word line. Uh, and then nonlinear has this little extra non at the beginning, so not a line. So a linear equation can be graphed as a line, interestingly enough. So it might look like that. Or it might, let's put the arrows on. Or it might look like that if I hadn't made such a hot mess of it. Or it might look like that. Doesn't matter what they are, they can be graphed in a line. A nonlinear equation, so this is a parabola, it's not a line. This is also not a line. This is something I just made up right now. I have no idea what it is. It's a something. These are all nonlinear. They're not lines. But graphing is kind of a pain in the keister, and you don't actually have to do it to find out if an equation is linear or not. If it can be written in y equals mx plus b form, then it's linear. So some examples of things that might be linear equations are the very basic, y equals... 2x plus 1, or there could be fractions involved. y equals 1 third x minus 13, I guess. Or they can involve decimals. y equals 0 0.213x plus 4.7. Okay, even though it's got some ridiculous numbers in it, it's still, these are all linear. Okay, there, then there are a whole bunch of reasons why things will be nonlinear. And I'm just going to go over a couple of them right now. Uh, one reason you'll know is because of exponents. So for those of you who don't remember, exponents, is if you see them on the variables ever, um, so if you see y equals x squared plus 2, hey, that's got an exponent. That cannot be a linear equation. Uh, another thing you might see would be a square root or cube root or any kind of root. Um, that's that thing that looks like that with the variable inside. And the third one that you may see, or may not see, I don't know, would be something with three variables. So, uh, or four variables, or five variables. So you might see 2x plus 5y plus 4z equals 10. And this z here ruins the game. You can't even graph it on a regular coordinate plane. You need a three-dimensional three-dimensional thingy. Uh, so that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me or your math teacher. Thanks.